Welcome to IT Pro TV. Today we're going to introduce you to the new ICND2 content. Getting ready for that CCNA routing and switching exam, exam number 200-105, and here to give us some details on it is going to be Mr. Todd Lamley. Thank you for joining us. All right, Ronnie, it's great to be here and be back. We're going to jump into ICND2. Hopefully you've gone through ICND1 and CSAT, maybe even took your exam and that's uh, under your belt, or you're looking to build some more foundation before you take your CSAT. That's a good idea. All right, so in these episodes, we're going to go ahead and start with deep understanding of switching. All right, we're going to do enhanced switching, and that includes a deep dive into spanning tree protocol and rapid spanning tree protocol. Also, back on the objectives from at least six years ago uh, on the uh, CCNA is something called virtual trunk protocol. Uh, so it's back, right? And we're going to go through VTP and learn how to use that in CDP to find your root bridge and to update your databases and stuff like that. And then we're going to go ahead and have some fun after we get through all those episodes and hit something uh, Ether channel where we're bundling links. We're not using spanning tree really, or we're going to bundle our links so spanning tree sees it as one link. And then we're going to hit HSRP, which is somewhat of a disappointment to me because uh, we really shouldn't use HSRP today, you should be using GLBP. But in the new objectives they came out with in 2016, they took that off when it was on before and only left on HSRP. And that's, that's a mistake as far as I can tell. But we're going to go through HSRP in detail, we're going to use it, you're going to pass your CCNA, and then never use HSRP again, only use GLBP. All right, and we'll talk about that. All right, then we're going to hit a deep dive into EIGRP and EIGRP v6. We're going to spend a good amount of time on that, really understanding it's a phenomenal routing protocol that just always seems to work. And unlike the other, uh, the next episode after that, OSPF v2 and OSPF v3, we have a, it's a little more convoluted and we have a little bit more work to do with OSPF and a little bit more fundamental understanding. So it's a much bigger section than it is on EIGRP because it's just, there's so much more to it. All right, so after that, we're going to hit troubleshooting. I'm going to go back to all our routing protocols, uh, RIP and uh, default routes, and we're going to look at um, uh, IP and IPv6 access lists, both standard and extended, right? So in the CSINT, only covered standard access lists, but now um, they don't get real big into extended access lists in the, in the CCNA anymore, but in the troubleshooting section, we're going to have to understand extended access lists and be able to troubleshoot both IP4 and IP version 6, and that's that's kind of a new objective there. Then we're going to go and hit, in the troubleshooting section, we've got span uh, and we've got service level agreements that we're going to use to troubleshoot and test our networks with. Okay, so then after that, we're going to hit wide area networks. Now, the good news is, after all of these years, Frame Relay is no longer on the CCNA. That is so long overdue. So starting in 2016, they took out the Frame Relay and uh, we've got more PPP, really. Uh, so we still have some serial links Right? I don't see those a lot in any of my customers too much anymore. But if you have serial links, you can still run HDLC, that's still in the objectives, but PPP, multi-link PPP. And then we're going to go ahead and hit our tunnels. We're talking about VPN, build a GRE tunnel. And then we're going to end with a really fun lab on BGP, Border Gateway Protocol. So that's a new objective as well. And then we're going to end with network device security and evolution of intelligent networks. Those will be our last episodes. They're not nearly as long, so we start off with really long episodes, right? We kind of then, you know, have some fun, get into EIGRP, get into some real heavy depth in OSPF and troubleshooting, right? And then, you know, we end up with some, you know, fun new stuff, right? That's how the new ICND2 is going to go. So stick around. Let's head right now into enhanced switching. <laughs> 